Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 2185th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar at futurestraders.com. Hi, kids. This is Wednesday night for trading Thursday. Am I right, or is it Thursday for Friday? Let me look at this for a moment. Oh, it's already Thursday. Hold on a moment. <laughs> this video is for trading on Friday. And yeah, let's do that in caps if you don't mind. This video is for trading Friday, October 30th, 2020. I've got a neutral Omni for the first time in a while. I know we've had the head and shoulders, which we're going to discuss in a moment, which is a bearish formation. But Omni is asking me to go neutral in the S&P on Friday. So we'll play Friday by ear. But I wanted to show you a picture I was looking at today. Please know this is an extremely risky game. You can lose more money than you have in your trading accounts. Make sure you never trade without placing a protective stop first. Futures, options, you name it, not suitable for all traders, so know that. And never trade unless you've got money earmarked to possibly be lost. All right, traders, so for trading on Friday, October 30th, NASDAQ, as you know, the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, we have the head and shoulders formation. Then we rally up and get the failed head test, an Oscarism added to the head and shoulders, and the crack comes. Boom, boom, boom. And I looked at that, and I said, okay, here we go. And, you know, the Omni's been calling it right. Whether we get filled or not in the trading room is another story. The Omni has been nailing the calls correctly on the downside. And as of today, on Thursday, we had a small rally. So, what if we look at this head and shoulders? What if we look at this target that was left out yesterday? If the head and shoulders is going to crack, target number one. What if we remove target number two? And what if we say the Omni might say no more? So I, am, I have a neutral Omni, right? The Omni itself that tells me where, whether I'm buying or selling is neutral for Friday. So I thought, let's go see what's going on. And here's what I found. The Omni average we just bounced off of in the NASDAQ. I said, well, that's interesting. Where else is that happening? Russell 2000 bounced off the Omni average. I went, well, is there a theme going on here? So I looked at others um, down here. Dow Jones transportation average didn't quite bounce, but got close to it Thir on Wednesday, got close to it again on Thursday, and rallied out. And I said, okay, so if the market itself is looking that way, what about the huge internals in the market? So I looked at Google. I believe I've got that sitting here. Google bounce off the Omni. Nice fat rally on Thursday. And I said, okay, how's Apple? And we looked at Apple and boom, bounce off the Omni. That bounced on Wednesday. Up we went for Thursday. And I said, okay, so that's maybe why we had a little bit of a bounce on Thursday. Us Omniacs, thank the Lord, we got short at night. The market dumped, and we got out on the at the Omni profit target. It went back up at the end of the day on Thursday, but we were blessed, and we weren't in the market. Um, so looking at this, maybe we're going to get a pause on that big head and shoulders. Now that, of course, is the one I'm speaking about here. Maybe we're going to get a pause on the massive head and shoulders that we've had and certainly the reaction has been massive, but maybe a little bounce off the Otapma. Maybe that's the bottom. Maybe the head and shoulders is over. <laughs> I don't think so, but because I've got a neutral Omni, I thought I'd go shopping, and this is what I wanted to show to you. One final chart would be this. Let's see if I can find that. Yes, dollar index out of nowhere gets to the Omni average as well. Isn't that interesting? And the Omni, or I should say the dollar running up, makes things like crude and gold, silver, platinum, all head down. 
So these things will head down and probably dramatically on Friday if the dollar continues to go up. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. I will let you know in my trading room at futurestraders.com what we're doing if we're going to get in or out of the indices, but we do have a neutral omni for trading E-mini S&P on Friday. Traders, I hope this helps. Please keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do, in my opinion, to keep those emotions at bay, and believe me, I know that's not easy, but try this. Say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll traders, put your stops in, keep your emotions out, and I will see you all at livewithoscar.com or simply futurestraders.com.